Welcome, Namaste, Namaskar, and uh, welcome back to Jalprayag. Today, I'm going to uh, do one more concept of uh, chat work, where uh, I'll be using uh, the celestial PLs. So, uh, celestial PLs are basically uh, a topic which is covered in Principle of Navigation and Practical Navigation, PRACNAV. But uh, end of the day, whatever you do the calculation, the usage is on the chart. So uh, you'll be learning how to uh, calculate uh, the different methods of uh, different methods of sites. But then uh, where is the final usage? It is used only on the chart and to obtain your fix. So let us see uh, how to use that particular technique or the method in our chart work. I just uh, mentioned the same thing on the title also, is Celestial PL usage in the chart work. Now, if you uh, look at uh, the celestial observations, there are uh, uh, three main type of uh, observations which are used in your sites. Okay, I'm not going to talk about all of them, but uh, I'll be talking uh, two of them. I'll be talking about two of them. So this is the first part. So I'll be talking only about one in this particular part. And then later on in the second part of the celestial PL, I'll, uh, I'll use the second method and then I'll use the combination of both methods also. The first one uh, most commonly used is called intercept method. Uh, you have uh, calculations, which uh, we are not going to do. I'm going to tell you a little bit basic or the concept of intercept, how the intercept is used and uh, uh, how I'm going to use it on my plotting on your chart to finally get a fix. So end of the day, my final aim is to get a fix. So when we use intercept in your calculation, I'll be using DR latitude and DR longitude. That is how I start my question for your solution. And uh, I use this DR latitude and longitude to find a point this point is actually a couple of miles away from your DR latitude and longitude, depending on the accuracy, because uh, dead reckoning itself is a kind of uh, guesswork or estimation. So I'm trying to find a point, and this point, I can find those couple of miles from uh, two uh, titles of your uh, celestial PL. One is called uh, true zenith distance, and another one is called your calculated zenith distance. So the difference between your TZD and uh, CZD, that is what is called intercept. And this intercept is the one which I have written a couple of miles away in the previous uh, line. So that, that is what is intercept. So using this intercept, I can find a point and that point is called intercept terminal point, which is called ITP. I'll, I'll keep using the word ITP. And uh, through this ITP, I'm going to draw a position line that is what is called your celestial PL. And this celestial PL is always 90 degree to the azimuth of the celestial body. Celestial body could be sun, moon, or whatever, stars, whatever you want to call it. So this is the basis of uh, working of an intercept. Now, uh, in your PRACNAV and uh, principle nav of navigation, you will try to apply this and uh, show it on a graph sheet. but uh, for us in chart work, I'm going to use really on the chart, but uh, I'm going to just show you how to use it. I'm not going to the chart. This uh, video will be good enough for you to understand how to apply the intercept concept on your chart. Uh, for the sake of start, I'm going to take uh, just an example with a few data so that I can show you what it is. Let us say 8 o'clock, uh, I was given a DR lat and DR long. and uh, Intercept was given to me because in chart work, they will give you the intercept. In your PRACNAV, uh, you will be calculating the intercept, but here in chart work, they will give you the intercept. And I've uh, mentioned intercept is three nautical miles towards. And then there is a sun's azimuth. So sun was a celestial uh, body, sun's azimuth. And let us say the azimuth was 150 degree for the sake of your example. So let us quickly see how we proceed and what is the concept of this PL. Uh, before uh, going to PL, let me just show you a few things which are necessary for you to understand. 
even though all of them are not used but you need to understand how this concept of pl came so i call this dr lat and longitude uh, sun's azimuth is given as 150 i'm going to draw this 150 please remember this direction of 150 is going towards the sun and if you project the sun which is celestial body on to the earth that particular spot is called geographical position of that celestial object so that is why i have written as gp now uh, actually a zenith distance is basically a kind of a range which we already saw true and your calculated it is a kind of a range so whenever you get a range you should realize that i'm going to get a position circle so the position circle should start from that celestial object that is the gp which is your sun and you can draw a circle and your vessel is on that circle that is how uh, what that is what is the concept of a position circle so i can actually draw a huge circle on the earth with gp as the center and this circle is actually position circle of the vessel so which means that the vessel is anywhere on this position circle this is this is the concept how how to start uh, understanding what is your uh, celestial pls now i'll go one step further i don't need this huge circle for me because i know i am somewhere near the dr and at the same time i am along the azimuth also somewhere near the azimuth also azimuth may not be always accurate when you take a celestial pl so i am i'm close to two places that means i'm close to the dr as well as i'm close to the azimuth now when i don't need the full position circle i can take a small part of this position circle the circle is so huge on the earth that if you take a small part it will look like a straight line and you can see the azimuth is going towards the center of that circle so that means this small portion can be called as a tangent to that portion of uh, the arc of the circle which means that i can consider that as a straight line and that straight line is always 90 degrees to the azimuth so this is the concept of actually celestial pl and this is why this pl is always 90 degree to the azimuth of the celestial object let us go back to that example what i uh, just uh, showed you uh, i am going to start off with dr lat and dr long which was given to me this is the dr lat and dr long i am going to draw the azimuth which was given as 150 that is what is your gp now he has given me an intercept in the question it was written as 3 nautical miles towards so what do you mean by towards for that please imagine you are standing at the dr lat and long and the word towards means towards the gp and which means i should go 3 nautical miles towards the gp so this last sentence that's what that is what is written intercept towards means you reference from the dr lat and long and then you walk 3 nautical mile towards the gp on this azimuth line and that is the point which i was talking about in the first initial slide it so this is the point and that point is your itp and please remember i need to draw a position line which is the small part of your position circle and i am going to draw it through the itp which is perpendicular to the azimuth and this is what is your celestial pl so i have achieved one celestial pl so this celestial pl can be used further for a fix but before i uh, go and show you a fix let us quickly look at one more example where i can get an intercept which is not towards but which is away so i am going to take one more example let us say exactly the same uh, azimuth same uh, celestial body and this time i'm i'm telling you that i want to draw an intercept 3 miles away so again what you do is you stand on the dr and look away from the gp that means gp was here at 150 you will look away that means you will go opposite side and then mark the itp and draw a right angle line which is perpendicular to that azimuth as your uh, pl so i can have two kinds of intercept one is towards and one is away so this is the way you draw individually the pl 
Now let us come to the practical use of this uh, PL. PL is a fixing tool. So I can use that in two conditions. One is your simultaneous fix. The other one is your running fix. Let us look at a small example of a simultaneous fix. Uh, let us assume that I'm, I'm using the same DR for both the azimuths of the objects. Let us say I had two stars. I could, it could be any time. Uh, please don't bother about the timing. Let us assume that I had two celestial objects. So I'm starting with the DR, the same DR. The first one achieved was azimuth 1. And let us say it was 3 miles towards. And I could get PL1. Okay. Sometime. It could be 8 o'clock, it could be 1800, 2000, doesn't matter. So I got one PL. At the same time, I got one more uh, PL using one more celestial body. This time, let us say it was two miles away. And I have drawn one more PL. Two PLs at the same time, intersecting each other, can give you a fix. So basically, this was your fix at 8 o'clock. So I've showed you how to use a celestial PL using a simultaneous fix. Now, exactly the same concept could be used for a running fix. So let us quickly look at a running fix. Let us assume the first uh, PL what I got was at 8 o'clock. And uh, let me say I was uh, taking one more DR. I could have used the same DR also. It is possible, but I can use another DR. So I'm going to use one more DR. At 9 o'clock, let us say I used one more DR at 9 o'clock and I got one more PL at 9 o'clock and that was using this same method of intercept and I got one more PL. So I got two PLs, both of them are different times. So I can try my running fix principle to solve this problem and get my fix. Now, for running fix, we all, uh, if you recollect, we will try to start from an assumed point alpha from the first PL. And it is recommended that whenever you do an intercept method, please use the ITP, first ITP as your start point. So let us say uh, for last one hour, I sailed 130 degrees and 12 knots. So I'm using the first ITP as alpha. I'm going to run my CTS and mark 12 nautical miles as Bravo. In a normal running fix, the first job I will do is, I'm going to transfer the first PL, which is at alpha, I'll transfer it to Bravo. So I have transferred the PL to Bravo. So this is what is your transferred PL1. Now you can see the transferred PL is intersecting the second PL. So both of them are valid for nine o'clock. So the intersection, I get nine o'clock fix. Now they can ask you what is the eight o'clock fix also, which was one hour before. Now it's very simple. I'm going to reverse run my course and wherever it intersects the first PL, I'm going to mark that as eight o'clock fix. So uh, this, uh, you, you could have chosen uh, alpha point anywhere on the first PL. It is okay, but it is recommended you do from ITP. It saves you a lot of hassle. So I could have done uh, one more uh, line also, and I could have got the, exactly the same results. There will be no change in the results. And uh, as far as it's a position line, we don't have issue, I can choose anywhere. So that was uh, a small concept uh, using a position line obtained from a celestial site and uh, how I use it for my fixing on the chart. Uh, I'll be soon coming with uh, part two of this celestial PL. Why? Because we have seen only intercept method right now. I'm going to uh, come uh, with the second method soon. So that will finish uh, the set of uh, celestial PLs used in your chart work. Uh, please keep watching Jal Prayag and uh, please uh, try to search for uh, my videos in the playlist. I've tried to bifurcate the chart work playlist also a little bit more. Have a look on that. That will make your life easy. Until then, uh, Vanakam, Namaste, Namaskar.